Welcome to the second day of Aaron 43 in Barbados. I'm John Curran, President and CEO. We have a, a pretty full day today I'm gonna to talk about. Uh, let me uh, start right in. Uh, we have remote participants as a reminder. I'd like to welcome those who have come back in remotely. Everyone has access to the materials. It's in your online site and it's in your app if you're using the uh, application for your uh, phone. You can participate in the uh, virtual microphone and consensus process. So glad to have you welcome remote participants back as well. Get the meeting app if you don't have it. The meeting app has a great schedule of events, lets you find your way around the hotel, lets you find the attendee list. Uh, so feel free to download it um, and you, uh, it's uh, useful at times. I'd like to thank our sponsors, network sponsor CNW Business and webcast sponsor Google. I'd also like to thank our Platinum Meeting Sponsor, Adrex, and Silver Sponsor, IPV4 Mall. So, um, we're gonna have discussions today in the morning about uh, some policies. These policies are uh, part of our policy development process. The chair of the Board of Trustees will moderate the discussion and make sure everyone has a chance to be heard. That means you should be respectful, pay attention to the courtesies in your, in your program guide. Um, and it's just important when you go to the mic, speak clearly, speak slowly, uh, for the sake of the live transcript we're building. State your name, affiliation. Uh, that'll help everyone and let us have a good record of the meeting. Today's agenda, we're gonna hear global reports in the morning uh, from APNIC and AFRINIC. Uh, we're going to have a RPKI services update, which includes a report from the uh, UPenn uh, folks uh, that did a study on uh, issues with deployment in North America. And then uh, I'll give a, a report from Aaron about our ongoing risk assessment. Um, we have an ASOAC update. We have the IANA Review Committee update. We'll give a transfers report about transfers in the region and uh, interregion. We'll have a LACNIC uh, report. And uh, we'll start in the policy block and handle uh, Aaron 2019-4, interregional IPv4 resource transfers. We also have a number of others on the agenda. We have a uh, <coughs> uh, discussion of potential waiting list policy actions that are being considered. We have several dra draft policies that are not recommended draft, but are still uh, important discussions. We have global reports from uh, RIPE and the IANA PTI. Um, and we have a Caribbean update. You'll hear from our government affairs and public policy team. We'll give you an update on our software development and open microphones. So it's going to be a very busy day. Um, we have a, a we're going to go straight from now till 1030, which is our first break. Again, there's a policy discussion room around the corner if you want to talk about ideas, uh, grab a member, people have similar ideas, and go over there and uh, work, out, work something out. This is how we make progress in our policies. RSC Help Desk remains open outside, available eight to five. And at the head table, same head table, um, Paul Anderson, our board chair, Bill Sandiford, our board vice chair, um, Tina, our AC chair, and uh, Leif, our AC vice chair. So, uh, at that point, I'd like to now uh, start with our first presentation, and it will be the um, APNIC. Uh, come on up, Tony Smith. <laughs> 